Hello guys, welcome to the next video. In this video, we're going to cover how to create an LCD clock. So first up, let's go to the Cube Designer. I'm going to create a widget class, and we're going to grab the LCD number display. And we're going to give this form a layout and save it. I'm going to save it under our workspace, LCD clock. So let's copy that path, paste it in here. And let's call the file view LCD clock. Right, once a view are there, let's convert this to a Python file. Let's just copy that name. Let's change this to a bad file. Once we open the app, we say Python user interface convert 5. We're going to say the target file is view lcd clock dot user interface and copy that. The output file, paste that and change it to Python widget file. Let's save. And if I double click our converter, we got our pyw file. So open that up. And as always, let's run and test it. Right, as you can see, there's nothing happening in there, only the LCD display. So let's implement our controller. Going to create a new file. Controller LCD clock dot by. Right, and then let's open up by charm and create a new project. Um, I'm going to copy this location. That's the project location. The interpreter is the existing interpreter. All right, let's open this up and let's open the controller. So first up, we can create a controller class. So first we need to import from bykit 5 Imports Qt widgets. Next, we need to import our view, LCD clock, then we need to create our class. We've been through this quite a few times now. If you're still, if you're still unsure about this um, setup, you can watch the previous videos. So we can call this class controller LCD clock. It from cute widgets and it's a cute widget class. Next up, we're going to define the constructor. Parent equals none. We're going to call cute widgets dot q widgets in constructor. Pass it the form and the parent. Ah, I'm going to spell mistake there, self. And then we need to create self.ui equals the view UI form class. And then we need to, oh, I can't type today. Self.ui dot setup UI to run that method on the view. And last but not least, we must make this executable. So if name equals main, then we're going to require app, cute widgets, queue application. I have an imported system, so let's import that. <coughs> Sys dot argument value. Then we need to create a controller. Controller LCD clock. We need to show that on screen. And we need to say system dot exit app dot execute. And once again, I forgot setup UI self. And in it requires an I. 
So if we run this, there's our view. All right, next up, we need to make this lock work. So to do that, first we need to create a queue timer and connect its timeout slot to the LCD screen. So you can uh, at the top here, I imported Qt Core. So the Qt Timer is located in Qt Core. So let's create a new timer. Self dot timer equals Qt Core dot Qt Timer. And we make an instance of that class. Next up, we connect the timer's timeout. Connect to update the LCD display. So this is going to be a custom function self dot update LCD. And of course we need to start the clock. So we're going to do that by self dot timer dot start. And in here we need to enter the amount of milliseconds that the clock should generate the timeout event. So it's going to be every second. All right, next up we need to update the actual display update sorry update lcd all right this function is a bit tricky in the sense that we first got to get the current time convert that to string and then display it in the lcd if you just directly display that in a lcd and you don't convert it to a time format um, you're going to have a weird looking clock. So let's get started. So first up we're going to write the current time variable. We'll just put self in front of here. Equals cute score dot cute time dot current time. So this will return the current time. Next up we're going to reformat that time. Let's call it self dot txt rather string current time this is going to be equal to the current time variable dot to string and the time to string methods got a special feature where you can set the time format so we're going to make it hour hour and minutes minutes Sorry, that should be lowercase. Okay, and finally, we need to update that LCD number. So we're going to set the LCD display value, not to do text. And this we're going to set to self dot string current time. All right, and that should do it. Let's run this app and see what we got. And there you go, there's the current time. So this will update every minute. And yeah, let's conclude our program. I hope you found it useful and see you in the next video.